Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use WP InPost Ads, which is the ultimate ad management plugin for InPost Ads in WordPress posts and on your WordPress powered site. WP InPost Ads is designed to be used with any WordPress theme and it's also designed to work with existing and future WordPress themes that conform to WordPress's coding standards. So the first thing to do is to head over to the member area and download the plugin. And you want to go to mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. You're going to find all of your premium resources here and you want to scroll down until we get to our plugins here, denoted by this thicker line here. You want to expand this and then you can just click download on plugin files. You want to save that onto your computer, just press save and we can see that's going to download. Next thing to do is to head over to your WordPress dashboard and here we want to go to plugins and then click add new. Then want to upload plugin and just choose the zip file you've just downloaded. So here we can see I've got my theme shop WP in post ads and I can just click open. Now I need to press install now and WordPress is going to upload and install the plugin and all we need to do now is activate the plugin. We're going to see now that the plugin has been activated and on the left hand menu we've actually got a new menu here which is WP in post ads. If we click on that we're going to be taken to the main dashboard for managing your in post ads and we can see it right at the top here we can just press add new in order to add a new advertisement here. So you can add a title here and this is just for your own reference. So I'm just going to put add placement one here and in the body here you can add your own advertisement. Now you're probably going to want to do this by heading to text here and then pasting your code. Um, you're going to need to switch into the text editor rather than use the visual editor in order to paste code into WordPress. I've got this Gmail ad here um, and I'm just going to paste the code in there. Next we're going to see we've got the ad settings and here you can see you can choose the placement, appearance and behavior of the ad. So this is where you set the really powerful settings in WP in post ads. You can choose your placement before the content, after a certain number of paragraphs, so we can change this number here, or after your content. We can also add a priority and if you've got multiple advertisements then um, you can choose a priority and the higher number here is going to prioritize this over a lower prioritized advertisement. You can change your appearance, you can choose left, right and center and you've also got the maximum width in pixels as well as the padding. You can select a background color if you'd like one as well as a text color and you can just click on here in order to use this color picker in order to choose a color and it's the same for the text. The defaults of a dark blue and a white are going to be great for most people though. You can choose your behavior of your ad and you can use these tick boxes to choose whether you want the ad to display a certain number of days after the post was published or whether it should be shown for a certain number of days and then disappear. You do that by selecting this box and then entering a number here. You might want to do this if you either want to not show ads to your most loyal readers by using the first option or if you want to prioritize on an influx of traffic and get the most advertisements displayed then you can do that by selecting the second option and showing the ad for a certain number of days before it disappears. If we scroll up again, we're going to see on the right hand side, if you want to enter this ad manually, you can use the following shortcode and you just need to copy and paste this into a post or a page or some widgets will support shortcodes also. You can do that in order to add the ad anywhere that you like. Once you're done there, you can just click publish and um, we're going to see if the ad has published. And if we now uh, visit any post on our site, then we're going to see that um, if we just load up a standard post here, we're going to see we've got this advertisement added in here with the background that we selected and with the amount of padding that we selected. If after publishing you wanted to change these around a little bit, we might want to set the maximum width to 300 for example in order to better fit the advertisement. We could just do that and then press update and then if we head over to our site, you can see this is now center aligned with the 20 pixel padding that we selected and it's now 300 pixels wide and that's how that is set up there. You can of course change those in order to set those up how you want it. If we now click on WP in post ads again then we're going to see we have the uh, published ad and it's displaying here. So we can see the date it's published as well as the short code are quickly available here and you can also see the views that the ad has. So my uh, impressions have been two. So we're going to see that that's got two views and that's going to update in real time. So every time you refresh, you're going to see how many reviews that you have for your advertisements. 
I'm just going to add in another ad here in order to show you some other options of how this works. So again, just press add new, and then we can enter a title again. We'll go for ad placement two this time. And once again, you want to paste in your ad code. So I'm just going to go to the text editor again. You want to do this if you're using services such as Google AdSense for your code. I'm just going to paste in my ad code here. This time I want my uh, advertisement to display after, say, five paragraphs on my post. And again, we'll have the ad priority of one. I'm going to have this one right aligned and the uh, maximum width, I'm actually only going to set at 124 here, which you can see up here is the width of the advertisement. I'm then going to get rid of all of the padding just by setting that to naught, which means that the background and text color aren't going to have any impact. I'm going to leave these two off, but if I wanted to have the ad displayed um, after a certain number of days, or only for a certain number of days, again, I could just use these options here. Once again, I'm going to see if I wanted to have this advert uh, placed manually, I could just copy and paste this short code. I'm going to click publish here, and if we have a look at our site, um, if we just load up a slightly longer post, um, if we load up this one here, then uh, we need one that has five paragraphs, obviously, and the other one was only a short post. And we're going to see here, after five paragraphs, we've got this uh, advert displaying on the right-hand side, as we specified. If I just wanted to hide the background here, actually, then I could just go back into the editor, and under Appearance, I could just set this to white. And I can do that just by selecting a white color there and pressing Update. If we now refresh the post again, then we're going to see that we've got this on a white background, so that blends in much more smoothly. If we again head back to the uh, editor and again click on WP Impost Ads, we're going to see the number of views we now have, which is two and four respectively. And once again, you're going to see you've got the short code. If we now look at the settings available, then I'm going to show you a couple more options here. You can choose whether to have ads displaying on posts or pages, or if you press the Shift button, then you can select both. And you can also hide ads for logged in users. So if I just select this one here, as I am currently logged in, if I now refresh my post, then we're going to see that I, the ads aren't displaying here because I am a logged in user. You can set up some ad groups in the next tab. And you can see here, you've got options for how to display your ads if two or more ads are supposed to be shown in the same placement. You can choose to show all of your ads or only one ad, and you can order by uh, priority, random, or date published. So if you want to set a priority, which is what we saw in the previous screen, then you can use that here and then select uh, the priority here. You can also choose whether to have descending or ascending. So if you wanted to have date published and the oldest first, then you would have that in ascending order here. Always save your changes once you're done. If we then click on single ad defaults, then we can see um, the default settings for non-published ads. All of these settings can, of course, be overwritten on a per ad basis, as I showed you earlier, as we do when you're creating an advertisement. You can see the default ad placement, so uh, either before content, after a certain number of paragraphs, or after content, as well as the alignment, the width, uh, the ad padding in pixels, as well as the background color, text color, and whether you want the uh, delay on the ads showing for a certain number of days or only showing for a certain number of days. And if you take that, then you're going to see that you can select the number of days for both of those. Obviously, you don't want to have both of those ticked at the same time. Again, you can save those changes. Final tab here is Google Analytics. And here you can integrate the uh, plugin with Google Analytics. And you need to note that your pages and your site need to already be set up with Google Analytics for this tracking to work properly. To enable Google Analytics integration though, you just need to tick this box and then you can select an event category. So WP Impost Ads, an event label as well and save those changes. And you will then see those settings in your Google Analytics when you're using that. That's gonna be reported straight into your analytics there. Just before we continue, I just need to head back to general and then untick hide ads for logged in users so I can continue showing you the rest of the settings here. Obviously save those changes as well. So if we now head back to WP InPost ads, we're again going to see the uh, short code and views here. I'm just gonna copy and paste the short code here and then if we head over to a post on our site, just by clicking on a random post here, so I'm just gonna select this one here, and um, we're gonna see that we can add the short code just by pasting that in. So I'm just gonna have that after the first paragraph, for example. I just need to press update here, 
And then I can view that post and we're gonna see what that looks like with the short code using to add ads and custom locations. So you can see we've got the standard advertisement here and then we've got the uh, right aligned small advertisement and it also displays lower down after five paragraphs as we set in the options earlier on. If I wanted to disable ads for this post, then I could do that just by scrolling down to the bottom and on the right hand side, I can just tick this box for WP Impost Ads, Disable Impost Ads, and we can update that. And if we again load up this post, then we're going to see that um, we've got no adverts at the top or after five paragraphs, but because we have used the shortcode, that's going to override that option. We would need to remove the shortcode in order to have absolutely no ads on this page, but you can see that um, we've only got the one displaying with the shortcode as it is here. The other ads are disabled. I'm just gonna head back to the WP InPost ads options here. So once again, we're gonna see that we've got the view count is updated here, and you can actually use this to A-B test the uh, performance of the different ads on your website. If you have two ads set to display in the same location and then set them to display randomly, as you would do under settings and then ad groups, so if you had this set to uh, random, as you can do here, then you'll be able to randomly display the ads and you'll be able to track in Google Analytics if you've set them up, how to see which ones get the most clicks. That's a great way of A-B testing to use data to better inform your business decisions and ultimately to get more ad revenue. So those are some of the features of WP InPost Ads. You've got some really powerful tools there for displaying ads as efficiently as you can on your website and for getting the most clicks out of it too. WP InPost Ads is designed to work with all WordPress themes. It's going to work with any WordPress theme, existing or future, that conforms to WordPress's coding standards. So you're going to be able to use it on any theme to get the most out of your site. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.